Is he a leech? Beatrice Pitt has offers being grounded 24-hour while he borrowed security teams. Royal commentator and consultant Rafe Hadelman who claimed Prince Harry should borrow the private security teams of Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie after the Duke of Sussex raised safety concerns over any prospective return to the UK. Meanwhile, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie were stripped of their 24-hour security due to overspending, according to a royal expert. Following Prince Harry's plea to be provided with police security for his family in the UK after being stripped of it by the monarchy, other protection issues have come to light involving royal family members. Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie previously had 24-hour taxpayer-funded security like senior royals including the Queen, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Harry and Meghan Markle, before they stepped down from their official roles. This is the highest level of security available, apart from that provided on the days of royal engagements. Beatrice and Eugenie's 24-hour security was also taken away, although theirs was partially removed, not completely. According to royal expert Richard Kay, this decision came about after a row occurred within the royal family in 2011, over money being drained by the princesses. Eugenie's action-packed gap year reportedly drew criticism, with Richard saying on the Channel 5 documentary Beatrice and Eugenie, pampered princesses. She was sort of flitting from country to country as most middle-class young people do who take gap years. Addressing concerns that the paparazzi may threaten Prince Harry's safety if he returns to the UK, Mr. Hadel Manku did not believe they posed a huge threat to the prince and said he would still be given protection when at royal events. He told GB News, We live in a free country, the paparazzi are a real nuisance, they're annoying, they can be a nightmare. But we live in a country with a free press and quite frankly, you know, being mobbed by paparazzi at Kew Gardens or at Kensington isn't really sufficient grounds to say that your life is in danger, that's a gross exaggeration. It's also completely inaccurate for him to say that by not having access to the intelligence he is somehow more at risk than anybody else. If there were a real security risk for Prince Harry, our intelligence services would of course take action we have to remember that and they aren't going to simply let that information not go unnoticed. And then, of course, you could expect Scotland Yard to take the necessary action. Mr. Hadel Manku then offered a suggestion to Prince Harry if he was worried about his security and said he should copy what his cousins do. He added, they hire ex-royal protection officers who are extremely skilled and have a lot of history in this area and they've also got security clearance in the royal palaces. The only thing is, that they don't have is a firearm, which is quite understandable. And if Prince Harry speaks very nicely to Beatrice and Eugenie, maybe he can borrow their protection officers when he's in the country. And of course, we're only talking about the occasions when he's not in royal surroundings because if Harry's over here, visiting his family, you will, of course, get the same protection that they're getting by virtue of being on in the same area. Prince Harry is taking legal action against the UK government after he was denied the chance to pay for police protection for him and his family should he visit the UK. The Duke of Sussex's legal representatives said he and his family have been subject to extremist threats. Concerns were raised following Prince Harry's return to the UK last year for the unveiling of the Princess Diana statue in Kensington Gardens where he was reportedly chased by photographers. A representative for Prince Harry said, The UK will always be Prince Harry's home and a country he wants his wife and children to be safe in. With the lack of police protection comes too great a personal risk. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex personally fund a private security team for their family, yet that security cannot replicate the necessary police protection needed whilst in the UK. In the absence of such protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to return to his home. Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie lost their taxpayer-funded security team in 2011 following concerns they were racking up huge costs.
friends to say that your life is in danger, that's a gross exaggeration. It's also completely inaccurate for him to say that by not having access to the intelligence he is somehow more at risk than anybody else. If there were a real security risk for Prince Harry, our intelligence services would of course take action we have to remember that and they aren't going to simply let that information not go unnoticed. And then, of course, you could expect Scotland Yard to take the necessary action. Mr. Hadel Manku then offered a suggestion to Prince Harry if he was worried about his security and said he should copy what his cousins do. He added, they hire ex-royal protection officers who are extremely skilled and have a lot of history in this area and they've also got security clearance in the royal palaces. The only thing is, that they don't have is a firearm, which is